Hey guys, I'm back with another decluttering video and one of the next uh, subcategories in miscellaneous is um, accessories. And so um, that's mostly what we're going to do, but um, I have this kind of random drawer right here. And then um, this is kind of just in my bedroom and then I have my jewelry box and a bunch of random beauty products that I use in my bedroom. So I'm just going to kind of do this whole section right now, even though it might not all be exactly the same kinds of things. So I just want to clear off this section. I would love for this whole area to be more, to not have all this stuff on it. Maybe if I could organize this drawer more so the stuff is in the drawer so it's less cluttered. And every time I open my jewelry box, I don't have to you know, move a bunch of stuff around and knock it over, because that's what happens. <laughs> so anyway, I thought we would start with the drawer. So, let's see the best angle I can get on this. Change of scenery. Um, I think the lighting over here is better anyway. So I just kind of put the whole drawer um, right here on my bed, and I'm just going to kind of dump out things in certain categories. So, this is from Lululemon, and it's the Bang Buster or something like that. And this is my favorite one to wear when I'm working out. It's like one of the only ones that doesn't fall. Well, it still falls off, but um, not as often as the other ones. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I still can't really breathe through my nose. So um, when I'm talking a lot or moving around a lot, I sound like I'm dying. But anyway, um, this is my favorite one. It's like stupidly, it's like $20 or something, which I think is stupid. And I saw some at H&M um, that looked just like this. But um, I love this one, so I'm obviously not going to throw it away. And then this is a new one I got recently from Fabletics, and I have only worn it, I wore it yesterday to work out, but I was, a, I was just lifting, so it's hard to say how it will fare with running and jumping and stuff, but um, I think it's really cute, and I do like that. Okay, this is just a little uh, freebie Reebok CrossFit one. Um, my, someone I know gave me and I used to use this for when I was doing my hair but I don't really like it and it was like a cheap free thing so I'm going to throw it away. Okay so this one is one that I like. It's really cute but it doesn't work for working out because it just falls out of my hair too much but I do like to use headbands like this when I'm doing a face mask or washing my face or doing my makeup so I will keep that one. And same with this one. Um, I'll keep both of these for the, kind of those purposes. So I got rid of one but I'll probably just keep these in my gym bag from now on, and then put the other two um, in this drawer. Okay, and so I just found this other black one, um, like this, and I, this one's okay for working out, um, it's thinner, so I'm gonna put that in my gym bag too. So I kinda got started organizing the store like a little bit, I put all my perfume, um, perfumes samples and rollerballs in these little boxes, and then this one, for whatever reason, also has lip balms, um, so, yeah, so these are okay for now. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to go through them, and if I don't like things, I'll throw them away, but I want to use up the ones I like. So I will keep these over here. Okay, so I just dumped out a bunch of stuff, and I'm just gonna go through it really randomly. So first I see these two combs, and, um, I really never use combs. It's probably good to have one, maybe. Well, um, this white one feels a little nicer, so I think I uh, will get rid of this black one. The next thing I'm seeing are these little black bags, and this is what um, the Pop Basic jewelry used to come in. The last few times it's come in like a, one of these, but I don't need any of these bags. So I'm never going to use them, and they're not, they're cute um, for them to come arrived in, but like they're not super high quality bags or anything, so I don't need to hold on to these. Here is another um, <laughs> headband that I really like. I like this one for washing my face and stuff. I probably don't need. Right now I have three in that pile, so I probably just want one in my vanity and one in my bathroom, so I'll think about that. But um, this is, oh, these two things are to do buns with. I got this at Sephora just because I think I was trying to get to a certain dollar amount or something that was on sale, but I loved this when I had really long hair. It, my hair's too short to use it now. Um, I did get this little tiny one, I think from Birchbox. Um, it was another thing that was tiny and on sale and I was trying to get to a certain dollar amount so I could use a discount or something. So I'll hold on to that. Um, I don't know if my hair's, my hair might be too short for this one right now. It, maybe it would work now. When I first cut my hair it was probably too short to do this, but um, I'm gonna hold on to both of those. And then this is a cute little headband I got at Loft and I do like this one so I'm gonna keep it. It's another little bag. 
Okay, so this is a green ribbon, and I know exactly what this is from. This is from a wedding I went to, like, last June, maybe two Junes ago. Why do I have this? I haven't, it was two Junes ago. I don't know why I took this, or why I decided to put it in my drawer. I have no idea, so let's throw it away. Okay, so these are shoelaces. Um, they're from my lifting shoes. Um, so right now, one of my shoes has a white one, and one has a purple one. And I'm trying to think if I've ever replaced shoelaces on shoes, and I think the answer is no. So I'm going to throw these away. By the time I want to get new shoelaces, whenever that happens, um, I'll probably just, probably be time to get new shoes. Um, I've had them for over a year now, and they're still fine, but um, the shoelaces are fine, no signs of wear, so I'm going to throw these away. Okay, this is from a Pop Basic order that I clearly just shoved in my drawer. So I have the little card about referral, I have this card with the styling, and then this is just the packing slip. So it has my address on the other side, so I'm not going to show you that. These are um, LensCrafter eyeglasses cleaners, and I will use these, but my glasses, I don't keep them over in this drawer. So I'm going to put these on my nightstand, which is where my glasses are. Here's a little tag. Definitely glad I held on to that. This is a button. Um, Conmary says to throw away all the buttons. By the time you need a new button, she says you should probably replace your shirt anyway because it's probably old. And I don't even know. This is like a white. It's like a white button with embroidery, and I don't even know what shirt this goes to. So, okay, this is a brush, obviously. Hopefully it doesn't look too gross. It's kind of gross. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I used that. This is a necklace. I was actually looking for this necklace. Um, it's from Pop Basic, and it goes in my jewelry drawer, so I'm going to set this aside. And this is a watch, and it is by Gwen Stefani, by her Lamb line. And I used to love this watch, but it's not really my style anymore. Um, as you can see, it's like really thick. And leather and you know I used to dress more in this kind of style I guess but I don't anymore so I'm thinking maybe I'll try to sell this because there is a pretty good um I've sold a lot of the purses I downsized from her on eBay and there's a pretty good market for that kind of stuff so I'm gonna put this in my eBay, eBay pile okay so my camera battery is on its way out so I'm gonna try to finish this stuff before it dies so here's a bobby pin I keep bobby pins in a little container so over there this is um, a necklace that I did wear a few times. I had this blue dress I like to wear it with, and I wore that to my bridal shower. And I've been married for five years almost, so I don't think I've really worn it since that year. So I'm gonna toss this. This is the container for that bun thing, which I don't need, so I can throw it away. This is from, uh, I don't know if you can read it, it's a wrist strong bracelet from, um, it's from the Stephen Colbert Rapport. One time he hurt his wrist and this was a thing and my dad bought it and I stole it from him. Um, am I ever going to wear this? It's kind of funny, it makes me laugh, but I don't need it, so I'm going to throw it away. Here's another bracelet that I never wear anymore, so I'm going to toss it. I really don't even like bracelets. I don't know why I bought them. Or maybe someone gave it to me. Sorry if you gave it to me, but um, <laughs> I'm going to throw it away. This is a thing, it's to like part your hair and you can do zigzag things and it actually comes in handy like if I ever want to do like, not pigtail, I don't know. It comes in handy so I'm going to keep it. My parents got me this necklace, I don't like it so I'm going to throw it away. This is a box from um, a bracelet that my husband got me but I keep it in my jewelry box. I used to not have a jewelry box but I do now so I'll toss this box. And this likewise, there I used to keep a necklace, oh, I guess there's a little chain. Maybe I'll look into that, but um, don't need this anymore. Another card from Pop Basic. This was my first collection. Um, and here's oh the styling card for it I even have. Um, don't need that anymore. Oh, maybe I might keep this just because I might need to know this stuff. So, <laughs> And what is this? Ooh la la, uh, some legs. Um, yeah, going to throw that away. Here's some buttons. I'm actually going to keep this red one because I know what dress this goes to and it actually needs a button. But, oh, there's two buttons. Um, it needs this, it needs two buttons, I actually think. And I'm going to throw this weird thing away. Sorry if I'm moving. This, I think I got a ring that came in this from Madewell, so I don't need that anymore. Uh, this is like a little bracelet thing I got at an event. I don't need this. 
Okay, I probably don't need all these earrings, but I might go through and pick out the ones I actually would wear and put them in my jewelry box. So I'm going to just set them aside for now. They're really cheap. They're like from H&M or something. This is a plastic bag. Don't need that. Okay, this is a necklace. My husband got this for me from uh, the local store um, for our first Christmas together. And I really I wore it all the time. I didn't like how long it was. I used to tie it um, so it was shorter. But it's really pretty, but like if you can see the um this is like a velvet y kind of chain and it's it broke, it's really worn, it's really dusty and dirty looking. Yeah, it broke right here and my husband like repaired it for me, but um I think it broke again. I don't know. I just don't like wearing this anymore, but like this part's really pretty. So maybe I'll like I just don't know what to do with this. Um kind of a nostalgic thing but I should probably get rid of it but I just I do like like I don't know I don't know I'm gonna put this in a I don't know area <laughs> um I should probably get rid of it but I know he would get mad if he if I did that um this is a chain for something it's the same kind of thing like a velvety thing it gets so dirty and gross um sorry so I don't even know what this is for so I'm gonna throw it away This is a necklace. I don't even know when I got this. I don't even really know how it goes. Um, I'm going to throw it away though because I haven't worn it in forever. So yeah, that's everything in the drawer. So I'm going to go charge my battery and then we can do the top section. Alright, so hopefully my battery is charged enough. So while it was charging, I just had some lunch and I cleaned out this drawer because it was kind of dirty. Um, this is where I used to keep my makeup when I only owned, uh, what did I have? I had a Rimmel Trio, a Maybelline Trio, a Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, Foundation, Bronzer, and Blush and a mascara and an eyeliner and that was all I owned and it used to live in this drawer. Um, so I cleaned out everything um, and I am going to keep this little, I did kind of consolidate all the perfume samples into one little box lid from Birchbox and if this works well there's a bit of a double layer right here but that's okay. Um, they were in two boxes because I had I think six of the Elizabeth um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana whites and I put those all into I haven't talked about this I wanted to like talk about this in a video and I guess now why not now um, since I keep, never think about it but I put all those samples in this rollerball I got on Amazon for really really cheap and they fit perfectly um, and so now I have a rollerball of the Elizabeth and James white perfume and I have this one's the black one so um, I should probably keep that in there. And then I had, I think, three maybe of the clean, I think it was the clean rain. And I put them in this one. So, um, yeah, so I just need to hoard some more of those or, you know, not just use this up. But, um, yeah, so I thought that was a really good idea because um, if you're anything, I mean, I'm hoping to not be like this anymore, but if you make so many orders and you're always, like, getting the same perfume samples, you can kind of consolidate them into something that's a little bit more usable. So... These two rollerballs were really cheap and they don't leak or anything and I'm really pleased with them so far. So I'll put that in there for now. So now I'm just going to bring the camera over so hopefully the lighting is good enough to do this. Okay, so um, hi, I'm just wearing my gym clothes um, and my hair probably looks crazy but um, this is my little area. So we're going to clean this out you guys. Um, I'm going to put the drawer back actually so I can put some of the stuff in the drawer. Let's get started. So. Let's just kind of go through, I'm going to go through this stuff and kind of try to put some of it in the drawer. So, because I would like to just have less, I'm sorry, yeah. so I'm going to go through this stuff kind of right on the vanity, I guess is what it is, um, and I want to kind of keep all this kind of stuff in the drawer so it's not all cluttered and looking terrible, so. Uh -oh. I'm going to put this little box back in the drawer so I can organize it. So here um, I kind of have the perfumes I'm working on usually right around here so I've been kind of trying to get through this clean shower fresh. Um, I got a little set of four or five of these and I've used up one and I have I guess it was four because I have two more and um, yeah I really like this. It's a very subtle scent. Um, I like to wear this like if I'm going to the gym or just going um yeah, I wear this to the gym, I guess. Is that weird? Um, but it doesn't smell like perfume. It just really makes you smell clean. Like, 
guess it's a good name. Um, and sometimes I put it on before bed just because, I don't know, it smells nice. And when I'm falling asleep, it it's nice. So anyway, yeah, I'm using this one. So I might keep this one out still, but for now, I'm going to put it in the drawer just so I remember that. So, um, I'm going to put all these lip balms that I found earlier in the drawer as well. Oh, maybe I didn't charge my battery long enough because... I'm getting the flashing sign again, so maybe I'll just do the stuff right here and I'll um, charge it some more before I take the jewelry box. So yeah, let's try to get through this. So this is a lint roller. I definitely need this. My dog sheds like a madman. Um, I have three up there though. That's a little excessive, but I'll use them up. Um, this is a deodorant. It has aluminum in it, um, so there isn't too much left in it, so I think I'm just going to use it up because I do... It does work better when I'm working out and stuff, so that in the drawer. And then this is what I've been wearing on a more daily basis, which is the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant in um, La Vanilla Lemon or something. And yeah, so this one for some reason had just a tiny bit more product than all the other scents. Like barely anything. Oh, there it is. Fresh Vanilla Lemon. Um, so I kept it for that reason. I think the other ones were like 1.8 or 1.7 ounces and this is 2. So I was like, why not? That's how I'll make my decision. <laughs> This is a lotion I got from Courtney K. Um, I'm not working out right now, so I don't know why I have it out there. Um, so I'll put it in the drawer. This is the little body butter that I am working on for my finished 5 by Cinco de Mayo. And, you know, it's almost gone. Um, so it'll be gone soon, but I am working on it. And I do like to keep this out on here because otherwise I forget to use it. But for now, I'll put it in the drawer. This is just a little container. I don't know where it came from. But um, this is where I keep all my bobby pins. And I found that um, having a little container to keep them in makes me lose them less frequently. So I haven't bought bobby pins in a really long time. And I feel like I used to just always lose them. But I think whenever I find one, I put it back in here, and that's really great. So I'm going to put this little thing in the drawer, though. These are some Kleenexes I got, like, from a mod cloth order, like, for free. And they're, like, terrible. They're not even, like, Kleenex. They're more like paper towels. Um, so I don't use, I haven't used any of them. Um, or maybe I've used like one it looks like but yeah, so I don't need these. I'm gonna throw them away Okay, this is like a little mirror to look at your teeth like at the dentist and I have no idea why it's sitting here Um, yeah, so I guess this goes in my bathroom. <laughs> okay, these are two necklaces I'm just gonna put them in the jewelry box and we'll go through all the jewelry later um, Here's another red button like this one dress. I love this dress, but all the buttons have been falling off so I really do want to get those ones fixed, um, even though Con Marie says I should probably just get rid of the dress. I'm not going to, I'm going to get the buttons fixed. This is just an emery board, um, I'll put this, I guess, in this little box down here. This is something to clean my glasses, and I keep my glasses over by my bedside, so I'm going to put that there. This is a little part of my Fitbit that broke off, and I kind of want to figure out how to fix it because it keeps stabbing my clothes, so um, I will just keep this to the side. Here's a safety, oops. There's a safety pin, and it went under there, so I'll deal with that later. Um, this is my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo lip balm that I'm working on, so I like to keep this out as well because um, otherwise I forget to use it, but for now I'll just put it back. This is a dry shampoo by Amika I got from Birchbox. That's almost gone. It sounds, sounds like it's like down to here, so um, I'm going to be using that up soon. And I don't know what this is for, so I'm going to throw it away. This is um, on top of the jewelry box. It's just the case for my sunglasses, which I got at Nordstrom Rack. And I do like to keep this because when I'm traveling and I pack them, it comes in handy. So I'm going to put that in the drawer. Although I might end up keeping it somewhere else once I get it all figured out. Um, this is a cute little mirror. Um, I had this in my purse for a while, and then I got another one. So I decided to just switch it up. But, because this one, I think it broke, and so it doesn't stay shut. But I do really like it, so I am going to hold on to it. Okay, so this is a Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in Rosé that I got with the Sephora Favorite set, and I really like it. Um, I really like how small it is, though. I don't like the full-size ones, how big they are. So I don't think I would ever get a full-size one, but I would maybe get these ones. I saw they had a little set of two of these at Sephora, and I almost grabbed it. And then I saw the price, it was like... $23 and I just I don't know if I'll ever be able to wrap my mind around that so you know maybe I would get a set of these if there was a better deal like around Christmas or something or a sale but um anyway I'm gonna use this up so it goes in the dirt with the other ones this is the perfume sample I've been working on this week it's Viva La Juicy and I like it it's okay I'll wear it but it's not one I would ever purchase 
and this is really dusty, so excuse that. Um, this is my Tom Ford Black Orchid perfume, and I got this um, for Valentine's Day. My husband gave me some money, and I got the Sephora Favorites perfume thing, and I redeemed the coupon for this. And I don't know if I should keep that out, or I might keep that out. Um, and then this is my only other full-size perfume, which is The Lamb by Gwen Stefani. Hello there. Um, which I'm trying to use up, but I'm not doing a very good job. Um, if you can see where the line is, it's like basically at the line. But I have been wearing this more than I usually do. But yeah, it's like barely under the line I made in December. So gotta do better on that one. And then these, I thought it would be cute to like collect these and use them for decoration. But after kind of reading the book and wanting to declutter, I don't know if I really want these, like, cluttering up this area. I don't know where it would be cute to keep them. So, um, if you have any ideas of, like, maybe how I could display these and better, like, maybe I should make a little shelf near my vanity where my makeup is or something. Or maybe I should just use them up. I don't know. But I think they are cute and pretty, and so I got... This one is Vince Camuto, I think, and I got this in a glossy box, and it's just so cute. It, it makes me happy. I don't know. It's dumb, but I like it. Um, this one is a Versace one. Um, I think I got this in a Sephora order. It was like a deluxe sample if you spend over $25 or something. Um, I don't know where this one came from. It's Oh, it's Chloe. I think this... I don't know where I got this one, but I really love this Chloe scent, so I will use that at least. And then this is a uh, Dior J'adore, which I got in a 500 point park, and I just think this is a cute little bottle. This is from Ipsy. It's literally a can of spray water, and like people, it like costs like $15 or $20 or something, and like people are like, oh I know, but it, it's, I would buy this because it makes my face feel like, it's water. It's water. You guys don't spend money on what? Like, I don't understand. I'm sorry. Sorry if you wanted to buy the full size of the water, but, um, I mean, I ha did use it. It does feel nice, but, I mean, so would spraying your face with any water. Um, so, I mean, it's down to here, and so I'll probably use this in the summer when I'm hot. I'll just spray myself with the water, but I would never buy this in a million years, but I will use it up. This is, like, my grandpa. My grandparents are notorious for giving, like, really weird Christmas presents, like, not from like a Sky Mall magazine, but it, it must be some kind of catalog just like Sky Mall. So it's like all this stuff that like you don't really need. So this is like something you keep um, plugged in and then when the power goes out, it turns into a light. Which actually is kind of handy. I don't know. I mean, I, I usually just keep it plugged in somewhere. I don't know why it's not plugged in, but I'll clean It's kind of dirty right now. Uh, I'll clean it off and plug it in somewhere because who knows. And the last thing before the jewelry box is this lotion, which is in my Use It up this year kind of project. I marked it last November, but I'm not actively working on it, so um, I'll probably put it somewhere else because I don't need to have it cluttering up. And then maybe I'll put it in my closet um, where I keep all my other skincare stuff. And then this, these are kind of on the top shelf of this vanity thing, and I'm also not actively working on them, but I will be soon, so I don't need to have them displayed. So I'm going to go put these in the closet. I'm going to charge my battery some more, and I'll be back soon. Okay, so I really hope this is charged enough to finish because I really want to get this done before um, I have to go to work. And I have to go to work in like 15 minutes. But <laughs> while I was waiting, I kind of re-rearranged this area. So um, I added this little glossy box full of uh, hair stuff. And it kind of annoys me that my like brush is too big to fit in it. But it fits perfectly and I'm really happy. And then I have my bobby pins back here. Um, I don't really do a lot to my hair, so... Um, I'm sure you know. Um, so I, I don't mind that it's in the back of the drawer like this. And then I put...